Beautiful shot. You hit it like that, you don't need me. That's pretty good right there. All right, welcome back to the channel where I try to become a scratch golfer from absolutely no experience. And today we're gonna meet up with Bill Barrett, another great coach with great resume. He's like the co coach of the great protege, Anna Davis, who's, I guess, is like the youngest female to ever win at Augusta at the age of 16. So let's get this underway. Let's go meet him and let's play some golf. Bill? You're up? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Just starting the game, right? Just getting into the game? Yeah, pretty much, pretty yeah. much. So I had like a first lesson formally like a couple days ago. Okay. Trying to find like the right coach. Went to the range a few times and then tried to just get a baseline at the course the other okay. day. Okay. And played nine holes and did pretty badly, Where but play? Yeah, just get Mission oh. Bay. Mission Bay, yeah. Nice little par three, a couple par fours. Okay, let's, uh, let's grab a seven iron. A couple things I do to get loose. I put the club behind my neck, I grab both ends of the club, and just nice and gingerly, weights 50, 50, feet shoulder width. I just turn 90 degrees both directions. I get the lower back, it gets the, the neck muscles moving. You want to do this for a good 20, 30 seconds. Again, even a young gentleman like yourself, you want to stretch out a little bit. I, another really good one is you, you put the club out in front of you about two, three feet. We bend over till the back's parallel to the ground and just sit there, don't bounce. You can really feel the back of your hamstring stretch out. Yeah, I don't think you I know? stretched in like 10 years. So well, there, well, there you go. <laughs> we'll figure that out. So make a couple practice swings. Let me just see how you hold the club your natural way. And just go ahead and set up. And just nice and easy, just, just make, make your back swing and make your follow through. Good, do that again, good. The most important thing about today is grip. We're gonna get into the grip. Your grip actually warming up here looks pretty good. We're gonna get into the grip, the posture, alignment, and ball placement. So we're gonna aim at that green and white cylinder. And I don't, I don't really don't care where the ball goes. If you missed a darn thing, your ego and my ego won't like it, but for the first <laughs> lesson, we're not worried about the ball. So just do what you do, no big deal. Good, do it again. Beautiful shot. <laughs> Definitely beginner's luck. And two more. Well, oh, that's pretty good. I mean, you're, you're, you're very athletic. Come on over. Now here you are, what we call from the behind angle. The two most important things in the behind angle is alignment and posture. What I want to see is slight flex in the legs. We bend from the hips so the arms naturally hang from the shoulders to the ground. You know, like you say, you played basketball over the years. When you go through your pre-shot routine, we always want to set our club face in our target first. Mm -hmm. We widen our stance shoulder width. We move back to, we always feel the weight up on the balls of your feet. That's always gonna get you the proper distance from the ball. Mm -hmm. If we're too close, we're back in the heels, the hands will fall on our body. If we're too far away, we're accentuated here up on our toes. This is what I call your spine angle. This is what I call your face plane. These two lines should always parallel each other. Very good. Your arms hang in a relaxed fashion. Grip, we're gonna talk about your grip. Grip's pretty good too. Now here we are at normal speed. Okay, now here's your takeaway. That's what this takeaway is to start with the golf swing. From the shaft's what I call parallel to the ground, which is about right in here. We want the toe of the club pointing at the sky. And we want the club head in line with your hands. So your swing plane is excellent, but you can keep that forever. You watch the guys on the PGA Tour, the ladies tour, the senior tour, about 95% of the players are right there at that point in time. You look at Justin Thomas, superstar of the PGA Tour. Yeah, yeah. He's playing this week. He is very vain about it. He takes it back to that same point in time, what I call halfway back. He looks at his club, he checks it out, toes pouring the sky, clubs in the hands. He brings it back and he goes. You look at Rory McIlroy, Xander Shoffley, local with the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. They take it back to here too. They don't look at it, they bring it back and go. So my boring story is the takeaway, start the golfing in my mind is hugely important. Shoulder turns very good. Now, one thing I really see is that right leg. We never want to straighten that right leg in the backswing. Because what happens to that right leg, if you straighten that right leg in the backswing, the weight goes back to the heel, it makes it very difficult to get off that back foot. Now, watch my right leg in the backswing. The hip turns, but the right leg never straightens. So we're going to keep the flex. We're going to make a shoulder turn today, and we're going to load on top of your right hip and right thigh and right foot. Mm -hmm. All the golfing is weight shift. The upper body, the shoulder turn shifts your weight to your right side, your hip turn shifts your weight back to your left side. But again, it's all about takeaway. Here's your take, we're gonna be right here and you're pretty good over there already. We're just gonna make sure the right leg does not straighten. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this club right behind your kneecap, mm -hmm. okay, get a little more athletic in your legs. Right behind your kneecap. Now when you're ready, go to the top of the backswing and stop. Make your backswing. There you go, that's the feel right there. Do that again. Now full backswing. 
There you go, good, do that again. The right hip can turn, but we never want the right leg to straighten. And with me, what, I, what I'm doing is I'm hooking, I should tell you ahead of time, go ahead and relax. I'm hooking that right thigh, right kneecap, so you can't change the angle between the calf and the thigh and the backswing. Your shaft plane coming down is excellent. For a beginner, this is very good. It makes my job easy, and it's all about me. It's not about, it's about you, but I'm saying that joking. <laughs> your shaft plane coming down here is below the right shoulder. It should always be below that right shoulder point coming down. And the club head is nice and square. Square means toes point in the sky. Now, when they go frame by frame, the guys on tour, ladies tour, they'll stop at this point of time right here. You see the toe point in the sky, that's square, and, and the plane is excellent. The hands are just in a cock little position. Your swing plane is good. Now, next frame, you start to release it. You see the change in the angle in the forearms and the hands. There's impact. Now, see the back foot. You see how that back foot, the heel's on the ground? Yeah. It's a big sim when it comes to the game of golf. But again, it all comes back to the right leg and the back swing. But for a gentleman just getting into the game, you're easy compared to most people I get. What I really do like is your left side is very dominant. Your hands should always hang up inside your left thigh. We want a straight line from that left shoulder through that club and then your ball is a little bit back in your stance. With all your rescue clubs and irons, we want the ball just what I call a half rotation, what I call left to center point. You got just a little bit back. We're gonna move the ball up, not a rotation. It's not horrible, but you don't want to get too far back. Okay. Actually, let's talk about your grip for a second. Yeah. Just go ahead, go ahead and grip the club. Just go ahead and just face me and just grip the club and leave them up and leave them up there. Excellent. Okay, now leave your left hand on, take your right hand off. We want the pad of your left hand and your thumb, what I call a one o'clock position. 12 o'clock's up on top. So we're gonna move it, it's pretty good already, just at one o'clock, you're pretty much there already. So you figure 12 o'clock's up on top, we want at one o'clock. Now put your right hand on. Let me see what you do with your right hand. You overlap, good, excellent. Now see this line right here, it's a good indicator for you for the next 50 years you're playing this game. This line in between your index finger and your thumb should always be pointing your right shoulder if that right hand's on properly or not. So your pad of your right hand covers your thumb, so you can keep that grip forever right then. The grip is hugely important. Got it, what do I do? Is the this... trigger finger, we call it. It can just, it, anywhere in here, if you want to separate a little bit, it's just going to wrap around. Just let it wrap around in here, of course, comfortable. Should I touch it or? No, uh, just, we're going to put it a little more together here. There you go, there you go. So again, no separation. Some guys separate. Golf swing can't be that complicated. It's got to be pretty simple because it's a very difficult game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that grip right there is fantastic. So you've got a good grip, so that's huge. You already got a good grip. Now go ahead and set up. Okay, I'll stay right there. I'm gonna grab you inside your right thigh. Now, when you're ready, go to the top of the backswing and stop. Go all the way to the top and stop. Excellent, do that again. As you can feel, I'm not allowing your right leg to straighten. Excellent, one more, please. Good, yeah. so how we start the golf swing, all we're gonna do is go with me. All we're gonna do is what I call swing your left arm away. The left arm and shaft is as one. It's what we call a one-piece takeaway. So now we're on plane and we're square. Now all we do from here is turn the shoulder behind the ball until you feel the weight is lowered on the back foot right there. Here's our turn, right to there. You see, we're gonna allow, right hip can turn, but we're not activating it. See, it'll just give. It accommodates your, uh, your back swing one more time. You know, I was watching the Golf Channel when COVID hit. We had Tiger Woods on the Golf Channel with Butch Harmon when Tiger was 21 years of age. Yeah. And they, the announcer asked Tiger, what drill do you hate the most that Butch, Butch makes you do? He goes, well, Butch makes me go to the top of the backswing and stop and sit here for two minutes. Two, a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, because he wanted him to make sure that he got to that point where he was loaded so he can consistently transfer that weight properly. So come on over, put your forehead against, the, against that wall, that pole. Now, when you're ready, go to the top of the backswing and stop. And out, then when you get to the top and stop. Now, now slow motion, turn your hips, come back to impact. Right there, stop. So you see your forehead staying against the wall. If the forehead stays against the wall, you cannot change your spine. You will not go up or down. It's a great drill. Yeah. You can do that five, 10 seconds during the day. That, if you've got an issue, because I have people all the time, they stand up in the backswing, they cross down in the backswing. They stand up in the downswing, they cross down the downswing. Everybody's got crazy issues. You do enough of that, that will not be a problem. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Much better. Good, good, beautiful, good. Much better, much better. Your club head speed's tremendous. So you get into this game, you'll be hitting that driver, you know, 300 yards. Yeah, I can't even hit a driver yet, so. <laughs> yeah, we'll get, we'll, if you, we'll get to that. Now make sure that grip pressure's soft. Those hands should always be soft. I was gonna you're, ask, you're, on a scale of one to 10, what, what am I? Probably a three. You know, Sam Snead said years three. ago, it's a great analogy. It's like holding a little baby bird in your hand. If you're holding a little baby bird in your hand, you ain't squeezing very tight. 
So yeah, soft yeah. hands, soft hands, like a three. Right. From one to 10, it should be like a three. All right, I was at like a nine and a half. Yeah, exactly, that's why. <laughs> one more. I'm gonna show you why you're topping the ball. We might talk about one little thing in the downswing today, give you an idea. Yeah. When you show your downswing again, see that right heel? And that's why you're topping the ball. See how your spine straightens? Yeah. See, now your spine. Right heel on my right foot or right left foot? Right foot. Okay. Now look at that right foot. So your right foot is in quicksand because you don't know how to move it yet, but you will. Again, shaft plane's good. Now look at that back foot at impact. So you got too much weight on that back foot. See, at impact, we should be able to see, and you will if we get to, we go to work together, I want to see your left side of your buttocks in impact, what I call your left cheek. With yeah. you, we don't see so your hips are not your hips are not engaging because they don't do not know how yet. Okay. And what you're going to do when you're ready to go is you're going to lift your right heel off the ground in the dress. Okay. When when I a do little it? bit more, you're going to lift your right heel off the ground, way off the ground, more. There you go. Now keep it off the ground throughout the whole swing. I know it feels awkward. I just <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and swing. Keep it off the ground. Go. There you go. Oh. See, again, we're, and it's going to feel awkward to you. You might fall forward for balance issues. I ain't worried about that. At first, this is very awkward. I tell people, if it, if it, if it feels bad, it's good. If it feels <laughs> awkward. If it feels awkward, it's good. Beautiful. Look at that. I have one gentleman he moved out of San Diego. We started doing that. He still plays that way. Really? The people think he plays and thinks he's crazy <laughs> with the heel off the ground. But he had a heck of a time getting off that back foot. And when you get the heel off the ground in the dress, again, you're not going to stay there because it's not planted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit one more, please. Hit one more with the heel off the ground and hit two without the heel. But then put the, put the right heel normal. Good. Now go back to normal now. Right foot normal. Oh. One more. Now see, that time that right leg straightened, which is going to happen. Even forgetting the game just a little bit. You know, I tell people, bad habits die hard. Do not let that do not let that right leg straighten in the backswing. Really good. Come on over. Say you want to straighten that right leg a little bit, even with that right heel off yeah. the ground. That's your biggest thing we got going. Now here's your downswing. Yeah. But look at the weight shifting though. Much better. Much closer. There's the impact right there. Good. Close nice and low. Now you go into your follow through. You already got a pretty darn good follow through. Your knees are together. The back foot's what we call 90 degrees. So again, you got a number number of good things going on here. You just gotta learn a few things. Watch your right thigh. Your right hip turns a little bit, but look at that right thigh, perfect. That's what we want right there with that right leg. That's what we're after today. We're after one thing today, is learning how to keep the flex in that right leg and not allowing the weight to go back to that right heel. I'm going for like a nine to three grip, like a, the top Talking about size? Uh, no, 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 like how hard I'm holding it. Like what oh, okay. is the disadvantage of like well, holding you, it you, if, you, if you squeeze the life out of it, as we call it, we go, is, so we go what we call a death grip. Yeah, yeah. If you squeeze too tight, that goes your tension. You have tension. Tension is a big sin in the golf swing. Mm -hmm. If you grip too tight, it goes into your neck muscles, shoulder muscles. You can't make a shoulder turn. You just you're going to be too rigid, too much tension. Grip pressure's got to be soft. Gotcha. If you're in the rough, you get into this game. You get in heavy rough, then you do grip a little tighter. But it's the only time. You remember one thing out of today is the right leg and the backswing. You can let your you can grip the club like you can put your hands like you're holding the golf club. Go to the top of the backswing and stop. See. Some yeah. people feel some 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 uh, stress or tension in that right thigh. The bottom line, just you cannot allow that right leg to straighten. Gotcha. That right leg cannot straighten that back. It's the biggest thing. So in your downswing, your downswing is not that far off. You get a little bit of help. You know, I guess I've had a lot tougher challenges than you. Believe me. We well, can, I mean, yeah, the end we goal can, is scratch. So let's see if we can get there. We but. can. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> and then then there's short game. Yeah. Short yeah. game. Uh, uh, Sixty percent of the game is from 100 yards and in. Yeah, you get yeah. this end of it going. And then we go attack the short game. Bill, oh, it's been a pleasure. Hey, Thanks for being nice on the channel. So that's a wrap for this video. Another day in the books, trying to get a scratch golf. There's so much work to do <laughs> that YouTube definitely can't teach me. Bill was great. He makes everything so simple, which for me is, is huge. And so drop a like, especially if you're new. Definitely hit subscribe, follow me on this journey. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. God damn it!